After their shocking loss to UW-Milwaukee on Wednesday, the Badgers look to bounce back against another in-state rival, Marquette. Wisconsin hasn't lost back-to-back -back home games against non-conference opponents since 1990. Bucky enters today's tilt against the Golden Eagles with four losses, the same amount they had all of last year. Marquette had a 14-point lead late in the second half, but the Badgers a big run in them. Bronson Koenig nails this three, pulls them within five with two minutes to play. After a stop on the defensive end, Nigel Hayes finds a wide-open Vito Brown. He ties it up, team-high 15 for Vito. Golden Eagles freshman Henry Ellenson, a force all game long. The spin move, the score, they go back up by two. 15 points, 11 boards for him. Nigel then tied it at 55. Marquette back to Ellenson. He misses, but Luke Fisher there for the tip in and again a two point advantage. So the Badgers have a chance for the final shot. Nigel airballed the first, now going for the three and the win. That's long. Marquette wins their third game in the last five tries in Madison, 57-55. Wisconsin falls to 6-5 and five on the season, the most non-conference losses since Bo's first season here. Lucas Mayer has more from a disappointed Kohl Center. It was deja vu at the Kohl Center as the Badgers once again lost to an in-state opponent in a very close game. This time, the Marquette Golden Eagles were the victors, 57-55. to Marquette took away Bronson Koenig and Nigel Hayes from the beginning, and the Badgers were not able to compensate. And every time I came off a ball screen, I felt like they, you know, doubled me off that hard hedge with one of their seven-footers. So, I mean, they made everything really tough for me. He was having a hard time getting to the rim attacking. They weren't going to let, they weren't going to let uh, B or... Uh... Nigel, do that. Doubling in the post are bringing extra help for that. And being a selfish player, I always try to find my teammates. And they, uh, we did a good, better, a lot better job this time of um, knocking down open shots. Stopping those two guys or trying to slow them down was a huge key to the game. We thought we wanted to be really aggressive on ball screens against Koenig, and we were able to do that. Despite another setback, the team continues to find positive aspects in each game that can help everyone perform better the next time out. Whenever um, you win or lose, you always remember that it's not as bad as it is or as good as it is, and we can see that within that little run that we had that we're capable of playing um, a better brand of basketball. When you go from being the most efficient offense in the country to doing some of the things we're doing right now, it's Tomorrow at practice, you better, you better eliminate three of those for the next game. Eliminate another one for the next game after that. After 11 games and a 6-5 and five record, only two contests remain before Big Ten play begins. One thing we undoubtedly know about the Badgers, they have some growing up to do. At the Kohl Center, Lucas Mayer, NBC 15 Sports.